Did you know that sometimes you should be cooking your soil? Yeah, well, not all the time. Certain instances, and Boo Boo gonna tell you about that. So shut your margarita guzzler up. Yeah, so if you know your soil's infested with like, you know, gnats and stuff like that, you can get rid of them by sterilizing it. One thing you can do is just pour boiling water over it. And it's even better if you freeze the soil first, because, you know, freezing kills some organisms, boiling kills others, so you'll know it's good to go. Mm -hmm. You can also microwave it. Okay, that one I did not know, and I feel like that's going to make my house stink. Well, yeah, that's why it's maybe good to invest in a second one from the thrift store that you can microwave outside. Okay, he act like people made the money. What you mean, a second microwave? Okay, okay, well, how about baking it? You can bake it 200 degrees until the soil reaches 180, Bruh. and then it's good to go. Bro, that's going to make my house stink, too. Fine. Barbecue. You throw it on the barbecue outside, same idea. Okay. Make sure it gets to 180 and you're solid. Okay, I like that. I got that. You know, throw it on there. <laughs> Teriyaki charcoal style of that soil. Okay. All right. I like that. So if your soil stanky, you go to one of them big box stores, you get a plant, and you don't check the soil or the leaves, and you bring pests home, you might want to think about sterilizing your soil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, clap.